today I'll be going to what you call a hand spawning of my koi fish this here is a holding pond this is where I put the koi to kind of be free from the other fish that is within the pond um, for about a week right I feed them um, very profusely so that they be they are healthy and strong now after the week has passed there are steps in which I do take so as to ensure that the eggs that I'm gonna be getting from these fish are healthy now um, first of all the water is continuously filtered water is continuously filtered and the, um, it is it's clean now on the day of which I'm going to be hunt spawning, the first thing I need to do is to get some of the same water in which these fish exist in, right? Now this is a small container in which I'll be catching each fish and I'll be using a particular method so as to get the eggs out of the female. Now after I have done this, I will place the eggs into a container that is continuously being aerated by an air pump now this air pump will give the eggs oxygen they need so as to facilitate their hatching and coming to fruition now let's go I have already unspawned some of camera the, both the mint and the egg is in this container here I have my koi fish as you can see she is heavily laden with eggs Kai fish can give up to can lay up to five two hundred thousand eggs. So uh, another note is that a koi fish can lay eggs as soon as it reaches six months once the parameters are clear. Then I will squeeze the egg out of the fish. Now you can see the eggs are coming out. Yeah. They are coming out nicely. After the eggs are completely out of the fish, the fish, has, the fish is stressed. So, I will put the fish back into the pond for a few hours before placing it into the main pond. After this is done, I will now get the meal. Male doesn't have sperms like humans and other mammals. What they have is what you call mint. Right? The difference between the male and the female is that the, the male head is big and the female head is small. And then I'll squeeze the mint from the male. I don't know if you can see it, but you see the mint coming out of the male. It is a young male, so I don't know if the mint is much. After this is done, after this is done, the eggs are then placed into a container for two to three days before hatching. Let's look area dead. Placed in the container in a bucket. Various continuously aerated by an air pump. Which gives the eggs oxygen they need this is placed on it so as to prevent insects and other predators from going into the container and that will stay for about two to three days before you see it rise meanwhile what i'll be doing is preparing i'll be preparing the containers in which these eggs will be placed in finally and also hand breed their goldfish 
right? They are smaller. That means you have to treat them with a little bit more delicacy. Same thing, hold them in your hand, right? So they won't hurt themselves. Press down for the female. Press down to squeeze out female eggs. As you can see, the eggs are coming out, right? Several eggs are coming out of the female. Not much because I did something off camera yesterday similar to this. Alright, in which I got I think about a hundred. Alright, same with the black more. I'm gonna be squeezing some eggs on the black more. to get some eggs not much because I did this sometime yesterday and got a few so not much eggs are there now after all of this is done a few eggs a few eggs exist in the pond Some persons are of the view that this probably might be rape or fish rape or cruelty to fish. But I'll explain the advantage of doing this in a bit. Now I'm gonna be squeezing out the, the mint from the male. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna return these to the turn these to the yeah. Yeah. I did this last night I have some inside I just did this so as to put on camera to show you that there is no much not much difference between goldfish and cars now um since goldfish and cars are similar in nature i am going to be putting it this mixture in this container with some eggs in which i have actually um don't culture this morning mix it up maybe about two to three days fries should appear i look ensure that the container doesn't have any egg sticking to it now um yeah there's no there's an egg there's no egg okay now advantages of using this now i am a hobbyist slash businessman now it will take a good while for the male fish to actually squeeze out the eggs out of the female fish we need that my day job is teaching i will have to be monitoring the containers with the gold fish and the coils continuously because what will happen is that as soon as they are squeezed out of the female the other fish in the pond will actually eat the eggs not only the other fish but both the mother and the father or the male and the female for the eggs will actually turn around and eat the eggs so therefore in a sense this kind of serve my second job which is fish rearing as an advantage another advantage is that whenever you do hand breeding with the fish it kind of prevents or limits the amount of hurt that the fish actually receive now a koi when a koi is actually um, being squeezed by the male as you can see the male head for the car is bigger than the, than the female now the head is actually rammed in the stomach of the 
of the female koi right and this can continue for hours for hours upon hours and the female koi can actually die from all of this ramen by the male now the hand breeding of the koi it serves the purpose of not putting the fish under so much stress same too with the goldfish now it takes less than one minute or probably two one or two minutes one to two minutes to actually get the eggs out of the female and it takes less than a minute to get the mint not sperms the mint from out of the male or when both are mixed um eggs are fertilized methane blue is thrown on it it's placed somewhere that is protected from the elements protected from insects and bugs to be eaten it's given adequate air supply and temperature is okay and we sit and wait for the next two to three days before all of this comes true now you will see when these flies start hatching what they look like i might get a lot while well, i might get a few so as to prevent fungus from growing on the eggs i will place two drops of this methane blue in the container this will sit there for the next two to three days in which i will inspect the container to see how many flies have actually come out um uh, how should i say have hatched and then i will place them in appropriate container so as to price them my estimation this is about probably about 500 um coils i know we have to find containers to um keep them now that i have put the eggs in the container and given the eggs aeration to an air pump what i have actually done is to prepare some containers to house the flies whenever they are hatched now today is monday so therefore um this is one day after i have actually hand bred the koi and the goldfish so therefore i estimate that about wednesday i will be putting them in the their containers now as you all know that this goods this system is set up in such a way which takes the water from the pond carried through the canister filter which is at the top of this little table right and it is um the water is filtered through sponge mud and gravel now being in these containers the fries will be easily sucked up through the intake so what will happen is that for the next three to four months um, no aeration no artificial aeration will be given to these tanks right um instead the hyacinth lilies will play their role right the the the, the, the fries will be feeding off the already established algae that is on the plant and some daphne that is actually growing in some of these tanks i have actually moved my sword tail from this tank right and place all in this tank so therefore this tank and this tank now empty now this tank originally housed my mango manganos um i have actually placed them in the house in a 20 gallon tank for the time being right um this tank already have some uh filament bob i think number about probably about a hundred um as soon as they go to about an inch inch and a half i will place them into a bigger container where that bigger container is coming from we shall find out now this tank had previously had some guppies i've actually moved the guppies from here to over here right because guppies are very small and they don't need much space to survive and the amount in which i have they can be um easily bred in this therefore this tank is empty so it's three tanks already empty um one two three and my gold breeding my gold and my gold fish breeding tank which is a black one over there that also will be used to host some of the fries um the fish that are in that uh, that tank um 
will be placed in a aquarium inside where in which um, I will be using to actually spawn in a few weeks time give or take um, the fish that I've actually spawned a few days ago will be able to spawn about a month or I'll call it four to four and a half weeks time right so I have actually made that adjustment I have taken my filament barbs from this tank and I've actually placed them with my black skirt tetra and the 10 babies that were in it everybody is big and everybody's getting on good and it's really difficult to catch them right so that is it for the time being now as far as my coys and my uh my other tanks are going let's let's look at that i have actually placed my koi the orange one in which i you saw on the video um i have actually placed the orange koi along with the which is the female i've actually placed the female and male koi into the pond this is a 250 gallon ibc tote in which i used to house the six coins in which i have and the couple of goldfish right so the these fish are actually back into their normal space and if i need to get them it's easy for me to do this is my jack dempsey tank i've made some adjustments today first i placed um zeus in it which is my large oscar fish i have actually taken it out and placed it into my front pond because zeus is actually giving a lot of problem he's actually ruling the top of the tank the pond and he is actually refusing access to the jack dempsey although give or take the jack dempsey can manage himself right the jack dempsey um are at the bottom while the oscars stay at the top so at feeding time where usually um you would see the jack dempsey having a feast um that's not so right temporarily i have placed this tarpaulin over the tank so as to decrease the amount of um sunshine that is actually reaching inside the tank because i realized that the tank is getting green water very 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 thick green water and uh regardless of how much water change i do it just gets that way um i have three plecos in it but the plecos um are large and as you know the larger the pleco the less they eat algae right um it is hope that this experience will serve not only my purpose but also help to educate you on how goldfish is bred cared for monitored and you know everybody enjoy themselves um this is not really in the profile of today's video but i just felt like giving an update on this tank right so this is practically an update on my jack limpsia